Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and today we are going to discuss something very important. Um, before we start talking about uh, the so-called debate between uh, uh, Anthony Roger and uh, Shabir Ali, uh, I promise a Muslim to answer a comment he said uh, next time I go live. Uh, just take a note, I'm not going to stay, I will try my best not to stay long, but you know, that usually doesn't work fine with me. Uh, I have a pain in my throat, and maybe you can tell my voice is not the same. I eat uh, some food very spicy and believable, and it's causing my throat really to be irritated. Uh, <clears throat> Before we start, we have a Muslim, he posted a comment in the previous video. His name is uh, Big Sam. He said, la 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 ha la ilaha. Uh -huh. I, I will shave my 26 foot beard if you tell me what does that mean. La ilaha illa la ha. I mean, who is the stupid who taught you Arabic? I have no idea. Allah is the only creator. I mean, this is when Abdul, he come and he dump his poop in the front of your door. Allah is the only creator. So if Allah is the only creator, so what is this? Isn't it your God Allah here? He says he is the best of the creators. Ah, we are typing in English, sorry. Switch to Arabic. Uh -huh. All right, finally. So Allah is the only creator, brother. I mean, when a Muslim, he, you know, he, he come to you, he, and he take off his pant and he turn his back his back to your door and now he decide to give you his poop so now he got you busted like that's it Allah is the only creator okay so what is this then when Allah in the Quran he says Allah is the best the best of the creators look at the translation he says Allah is the best to create look at the first translation in Arabic it says change the translator you will find a new Quran in a miraculous way is it really the best to create or the best of the creators? Here we go. Look what happened. Here we have a creators. And by the way, even when you say the best of the create, I mean, this is stupid because if, he, if there's no other creators, then he is the best to create. So he's the best between who? So Muslims, they come to you and they claim things. It's so silly and so stupid. It does not even fit with their own book. And if a Muslim, he says to me, Allah, he is saying, uh, I am better than the one who created a bicycle. But, but creation is, is not, creative ideas is different from creation. The Quran itself gives you definition for creation, that the one who can create a fly is a, cre a creator, which means the one who can give life. So they cannot explain the stupidity of their God. So they come to us, and they say this is what Allah he meant. No, the Quran is so clear and creation and religion is not about somebody who make a car that will make him God. All of us, we knew that this is not true. Creation is about giving life. He breathed into him, he made him Adam. And this is your God in the Quran, chapter 22 saying, how you worship somebody, he cannot even create a fly. So if he can create a fly, he's God, go worship him. So when Allah in the Quran says he is the best of the creators, that is a stupid thing to say. Allah, he gave us false information, contradicting what the Muslims claim, and contradicting himself, saying that I am the one who created you. Because if he is the best of the creators, either this is true information, and that means there is more, more than one creator, and or it is a false information, which means Allah is a joke. Allah is a stupid. Allah, he says things, doesn't make sense. So which one is the, it is? Either way, it's a disaster. But we know what is behind the story. A man, his name is Abdullah ibn Surah. Uh, he, uh, he is the one who said this sentence, Allah is the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, he put it in the Quran. The guy, he said that I am the one who said it. So the stupid Muhammad, he added that because he liked the tone at the end of the sentence. Remember Muhammad trying to make a rabbi music. This is why the Muslim, they say, we can sing the Quran for you. Well, Muhammad was making rap which is a stupid rap. I mean, look at this. We made the nutfa into a clot, a piece of th a thick, con a conglated blood. I mean, who, this is God. 
Have you ever heard that somebody, a certain, certain, certain tesisist, saying to you that a sperm became a dead blood? And then they made a conference in Saudi Arabia, bringing a doctor from uh, Dr. Ma Maori, Dr. Maori. Dr. Maori, he wrote a book saying the most silly, stupid book. The Muslim bear successful in many uh, fields of science. And when he say, by the way, Muslims, I laugh because those who they are scientists in Islam, they were not Muslims. But you know, as usual, anyone, he was to prove, uh, proved to be a scientist in certain time. The Muslim, they put him in their, okay, uh, soon, just wait. The Muslim, they will say that, uh, what's his name? The founder of Apple. They will say he is originally, his father is from Syria, so he is a Muslim, even though the guy, he's not, he's not a Muslim. He was not buried as a Muslim, and he never been a was a Muslim. But in a hundred years from now, they will say his name is Muhammad Abdul Joe, uh, what's his name? I forgot really. Uh, uh, Steve Job, or Job Steve, I don't know. Anyone, anyone, Sheikh Isper, he's a Muslim. Al Khazafi, he made a speech. He says, "Speech." He says, "Shakespeare. His real name is Shakespeare. Shakespeare is Shakespeare. Yes, he is Shakespeare. His real name is Shakespeare, and he's an Arab." Okay, we got it. So, when a Muslim he come to us and he says such a such a statement, right away he proved to us that Muslim not only ignorance about our belief, they are just you know uh, copy paste. Uh, people, they have no idea what they are talking about. And look what he said here. Uh, <clears throat> he is the creator of the whole universe, and we prove that's not true, because even the Quran says that Jesus, he created from the mother bird. So, if you are saying that only Allah is the creator, that contradicts the Quran, because the Quran says, Jesus, he made mud, then he, he shaped it in the shape of a bird, then he breathed into it, and then he make it as a bird, living bird. If you say to me that by the permission of Allah, I, I laugh at you. Because that make it even more horrible. Why Allah will give only one person, he is Jesus, the permission to be a creator like him? Why he did not give that permission to Muhammad? To anyone else? Very silly, stupid cult. And then he continue. Because he is a human and with a human soul and never claimed anything like that. Here you see the stupidity again. Actually, when a Muslim, he says such a thing to you, use it against him to conquer Islam. Very easy. Because if Jesus cannot be God because he have, is a human, that means Allah cannot be God for he cannot be human. Because what is the point of he is a human? He is trying to say to you he is limited, right? So what makes Jesus not God for him is the limitation, right? Well, you just told us that your God, he is not almighty. Because my God, he can come as a human, still he can be God. Your God cannot. Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the stupidity? <clears throat> uh, the one who says Islamophobic is okay because Islam is anti-Semitic. Uh, that's not that's not uh, accurate, my my friend. I mean, don't, guys, don't say uh, silly things. What anti-Semitic? This is this this is a wide statement, and it is not the reason. It's not anti-Semitic. Islam is anti anyone is not a Muslim. As simple as that. Muhammad he killed the Jews because they are Jews, not because they are the son of etc etc person because they don't believe in him. So you know, be smart when you make comments. Uh, so when a Muhammadan he says to you Jesus he was a human he's just telling you that his God cannot be a human and actually this is proven in the Quran as an example in the Quran it says how Allah can, has a, can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend he cannot have a son why? because in order for Allah to have a son he need to have a girlfriend. And in order, if he have a girlfriend, then he can have a son. That's wonderful. That's mean Allah is the one, he is the human being and he's limited. Because a human being is the one who need a woman. He cannot have a son without having a woman. 
And here again, with that will take us to the question about Jesus. How come Jesus is born and he is a son, but yet he have no father who have a girlfriend? Correct? So the God of Islam is saying to us, listen, I'm very limited. How can he, you see the, the question is made by the Quran, not by me. How can he, who is the one to question the ability? Allah. This is Allah talking supposedly. How can he have a children when he has no wife? By the way, this is false translation because Quran doesn't say wife. It says sahib, which means girlfriend. Or let us say a companion, like, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what they call it, like, well, you know, you, when you sleep with a woman, she is not really your wife. Uh, I don't know, what, what they call her? I don't know. It's not even girlfriend, it's, it's more stupid. I mean, sahiba is a, is a friend, who, you know, like we sleep together. So how can he have a children when he have no, no, no girlfriend? Who is the one is asking the question? Allah. So here you notice that the God of the Christians, he do not need a girlfriend in order to have a son. The God of the Muhammadan, he is limited like us. I cannot have a son unless I have a woman. Doesn't matter if it's my wife or not. Correct? So the Quran again confirm the limitation of the stupid founder of Islam. The founder of Islam is not Allah. Allah does not exist. The founder of Islam is the one who made this verse. He is limited in his brain, he is limited in his thinking, he is limited in how deep he is, and he is so silly and so fool to the point he gave us a powerful tool to prove Islam to be stupid. Concert, yeah, concert. Actually, if you change the translation, they will say to you, concert, you know? Depending on the translator. You know, the Muslim translation is very flexible, like Muslims. For Muslims, everything is upside down. The American, they say, uh, four years ago, we are going to leave before September 11, 2021. You know? The Muslim today, they claim victory. <laughs> the defeat of America. Everything is awkward for those people, you know? <laughs> they go to attack Israel, and they want to throw the Jews in the ocean. Then they lose the Jerusalem. Allahu Akbar, we have victory. You idiot, you just lost Jerusalem. Allahu Akbar, takbir, we have victory over the... You idiot. Yesterday, they, you lost Jerusalem. Today, you lost the, the, the West Bank. Allahu Akbar, we lost Jerusalem. You idiot. Or, or, almost they are in Amman. You, Allahu Akbar, we know we are. You, you. Allah, what's wrong with those people? The Jews arrive almost to Damascus. They are just 17 miles away from Damascus. Allahu Akbar, we have victory over the Jews. Like, what's wrong with you? They never lose, my friend. They never lose. I mean, you take that, whatever you take from them, it's still they are winning. And this is exactly what's happening today. Desperate for victory after a long period of their God is not answering their prayer. So here you see that the founder of the Quran is very silly and very stupid. So when the guy, he said to us what he said, that Jesus, a brother, he was a human. He was a human, brother. And what the funny is, when he said he have a soul, hey, I forgot to tell you that we had the news, your God, Allah, have no soul, and he is dead already, because why Allah has no soul? Anybody can tell me? What kind of God? Look, this God is a physical being, as Muhammad, he confirmed. Even the Quran confirmed that he have a shin, and the people, they will see his shin in the judgment day. What an amazing shin of God. The Muslim don't worship God, they worship his shin. So, when you see the shin of Allah, you go down, and you go down to the shin of Allah, which is very sexy, and you know it. But the question here, as long as Allah, he have no soul, and he have a shin, that's mean Allah is made from concrete, or in the best scenario, he is made from silicon. How we can prove that Allah have a life? You see, somebody says to me, I don't understand really the concept of uh, spirit or soul. It's very easy, my friends. Okay, you see, if uh, when, you, when you read, try to read carefully. Even in the stupid Quran, when 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 uh, when they ask Muhammad, okay, what is the spirit? What is the spirit? A question. I mean, anyone who claims to be a prophet should be able to, to to answer it easy. Especially he have the support of the one who is called uh, divine, right? So they are as they are asking you about the spirit. 
All right. What is the answer? Chapter 17, verse number 85. The most hilarious and stupid answer ever. They ask you concerning the spirit. Say, the spirit is from the from the knowledge of Allah. Like what? 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 Like this is why we are asking you. You are the prophet of Allah. You can ask Allah. And now Allah is answering Muhammad. So Allah, he says to him, tell them the spirit is from the knowledge of me. Like what the heck? What is the answer? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid teacher like this? So imagine you are a student and you have a professor standing in front of you. And he said to you, sir, what is the spirit? He said to you, only me, I know the spirit meaning. Like, well, are you, this is why you are the teacher. What's the answer? So Muhammad, he went home. He put the eyeliner three times in his eyes. He did the sugar to his body. He took all the hair there, down there and up and wherever you want, you know, he became want to be pretty. And then the pretty Muhammad come with a pretty answer saying, tell them concerning the spirit, Allah knows best. Okay, this is from the knowledge of Allah. So Muhammad do not know. When the spirit is very simple, even the stupid Muhammad, when he copies stories from the Bible, he, he himself, without knowing, he gave us definition. Because isn't it him, the Quran says that Allah, he breathed in the mud after he fashioned Adam, and then Adam became alive. So what is the spirit? Life. You give life to a dead body, regardless what that body is, even if it's from mud. So spirit is the power of life, and God is source of life. Are you getting it? So the stupid Muhammad who cannot answer a very simple question, and he refused to answer, obviously, because he did not know what to say. So as long as you agree that your God Allah has no spirit, then your God Allah does not exist. Because anything without a spirit, doesn't matter what it is, God or me or you, it's a dead person. Spirit is the power of life. And all power of life is coming from the Creator. This, the creation is not only making mud. The creation is about He breathed into Him. And He gave Him life. Where is the first breathe is coming from? According to the Quran. From Allah. So when Allah, He breathed, and Allah, He breathed everywhere, by the way. He breathed into Adam and He breathed into the vagina of Mary. If you remember, uh, so when Allah He breathed, what He is giving? Look what the Quran is saying. Okay. Maryam or Mary, the daughter of Imran, again, it's another stupid mistake in the Quran. Muhammad, he thinks that Imran or Amram, the father of Moses, is the same, the father of Mary. This is why the Quran, different verse says, Mary, she is the sister of Moses. We, she, the one who guarded her chastity doesn't say that, you liar. Doesn't say she guarded her chastity, it says the one who guarded her vagina. What a very low language. We breathe, and look what they put in the in the in the two, two bracket. We breathe into the sleeves of her shirt. Like what the heck? Where it says that? Where in the verse it says we breathe into the sleeves of her? So they don't want to say he breathed into her vagina. It says here the women who guarded her vagina. We breathe in it. How in the world her vagina became a sleeve of a shirt? And just to get them busted, by the way, just copy this text and take it to Google Translation and you will see there's no sleeves and there's no t-shirt. And there's... <laughs> the vagina kiss our God. Anyway, <clears throat> so why he breathe? You see the stupidity of this guy? Muhammad, he is just copying his stories and he, you know, he add his own spice to make it look different. It's like, you know, a guy who stole your bicycle and he live next door. And now if you go out with it, it's, you know, you will know this is your bicycle. So he start uh, look, hanging some stuff in it, like uh, uh, the blue, the blue stone for the eye, some paint here, Mickey Mouse picture there, you know, like suppose that you are the fool who will not notice that this is my bicycle. <laughs> Anyway, so I hope we answered this potato. 
and join the mashed team. Now we go back to uh, Shabir Ali. <clears throat> you see, one of the funny things about Shabir Ali, uh, he is different from the rest of the Muslims. How he is different? Shabir Ali is a very smart fool. I know, I know, that's very hard to know. It's like, very smart fool? Like, how is that? Can be, you know? He is very smart fool. Yeah, he is the person who he thinks he is smart by not answering the question. But by not answering the question, he gives an answer which is very powerful for us to destroy us now. And today, I'm going to play a little bit of his presentation to show you how stupid Islam is and how fool the one who tried to defend it. I'm not trying to insult Shabir Ali, you know. We are friends, you know, we have history. Shabir Ali, he promised to debate me two centuries ago, and he promised he would do it after he finished his PhD. Then he finished his PhD, and he is still busy. Very normal. I mean, those things happen to every Muslims. So, Shabir Ali is going to present for you salvation in the Quran, and try to, not to die laughing. Dr. Shabir, you have 16 minutes to build your case for salvation according to the Quran. Okay, I'll just get my um, notes ready here. And in a moment, here we go. Did you hear, guys? Did you hear? I have to get read, read my, my notes. He have a presentation, he have a paper. This is why I say to you, those are not debates. I mean, they, they, nobody asked him a question yet. Not for what? The woman, she just said, your name is Shabir Ali. You are an imam of a mosque. You know what I mean? N not for what? Those are the presentation hero. This is why I say those are not debate. There's two guys, they go and do a uh, search in Google, and they, they print all the possible questions, or let us say, respond, and then they put them in a note, and that's it. This is the debate, and he will start reading for us. So where's the debate? Look at him. He will start reading from the paper. Go. So I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends, uh, I greet you with a greeting of peace and uh, I pray. The first lie. A Muslim, he cannot greet anyone with peace unless he is greeting Muslims. This is number one lie. And Shabir Ali, he don't hesitate to lie left and right. Can Muslims greet non-Muslims with peace? Absolutely not. Let us see. Do you see it? Not only you cannot grant the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas and everybody with peace, you have to force them to walk in the sewage. You know, but it's not working. Like, you know, the American, they are forcing Taliban to walk in the sewage. Did you see what happened around the airport? They don't even dare to get close one, one step. I mean, we withdraw all our army. We have just a few, you know, soldiers, and yet they don't dare to get closer. So. The first lie is, we greet you with peace. Continue, Shabir Ali. And by the way, this is why, if you go later, you will see that Shabir Ali, he told Anthony Roger that we have to agree to debate only in the Quran. And this is the title of my video. Why Shabir Ali, he want to debate only based on the Quran? Why he don't want the quote of his prophet? Because the quote of his prophet proved that every single word he said, starting from peace to you, is a lie. Are you getting the point? So he said to Anthony Roger, we debate only in the Quran since when Shabir Ali is a Quran only person. And why a Muslim, he don't want the statement and the words of his prophet. It's embarrassment, isn't it? It's embarrassment because obviously you know that your prophet, he do a lot of dumb. And he says stupid things, embarrassing, ugly things hateful things. 
So in order to avoid the embarrassment, I say we debate only about the Quran. And later you will see that Anthony Roger, he says that me and, uh, you know, and Shabir Ali, we, we, you know, we, we have no problem. We agreed to debate the Quran only, which is the request of Shabir Ali. So peace into you, Shabir Ali, but this time don't lie to us, say peace to us, because you as a Muslim, you cannot say that. Me as a Christian, I can say so when I wish, but you cannot. That God will protect us all uh, in this. Peace of God who protected us. Is that the Quranic? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah protect only the Muslims? What's wrong with this guy? I mean, should I stop in every word you say? Then that my video will come to like the 2000 years video. I mean, every single word he say is a lie. Continue. It's uh, a situation in which we all uh, face the possibility of uh, of COVID-19. We pray. Oh, don't talk about it. Your prophet, he says COVID-19 is a lie and there's no viruses and there's nothing can be transmitted by person to a person. Don't go, don't go there. I will show you the Not only that, he says that viruses cannot enter the city of Medina. And then after that, tens of thousands of people of Medina, they die. What a Abdul. Pray for protection. Uh, from ev every disease, sickness, uh, disease, and uh, stress. That's it. At the same time, uh, we all uh, are glued to our television sets. We're looking at events around the world, and we are praying for peace, for stability, uh, for the end of violence, for the uh, upliftment of the rights uh, and, and status of women uh, in our. Shabir Ali, you stand for the right of the women. Isn't it the same guy who said? that the Quran did not give limit to the man, how many wives he can have. So if the women have rights, well, shouldn't we have equal right for the man and the women? If the man, he can have unlimited women to, have, to, to sleep with, well, the women should have unlimited number to sleep with too. Why the man, he can have 10 chickens and the women, she can't have 10 roosters. Isn't it the Quran says beat them? So he stands for the right of the women. Okay, yeah, I can tell. I mean, in Pakistan, the women have all the rights. Yeah, I saw the woman who was in the park making a video for YouTube. They strip her from her clothes. Hundred of mujahideen, our own countries and worldwide. Uh, in this opening speech, I intend not to defend, but merely to explain the Quranic view of salvation and to show how it ties in with uh, belief in God and Jesus. I will begin by outlining the main points and then uh, proceed to elaborate. My first main point is that God is intrinsically forgiving and he readily forgives us because he understands our fallible nature. Second, the Quranic story of Adam is about original forgiveness, not about original sin. After Adam's momentary lapse, God forgave, chose, and guided him. Uh, divine justice is thus tempered with mercy and God's care for humans. Third, the devil tries to mislead humans, but due to God's forgiving nature and uh, continuing care for humans. Guys, Muslims, is it true that the devil is the one who tried to mislead you or Allah? Why Muslims they lie about who is the one who deceive us? Why they lie about who is the one who do mislead us. Let us go to the Quran and get him busted. I think this video will take a century to finish then. <clears throat> we will try to stop only in the important one. Who is the one who mislead? Is it Allah or Shaitan? The answer in front of you. Chapter four. Verse number 88. Allah, he said to Muhammad, are you going to lead, uh, guide the one who Allah mislead? The one who Allah mislead, nobody can guide him. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, by the way, here. In Arabic, it's more ugly. It says, Are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? If you don't believe me that this is the correct translation, copy the Arabic and paste in Google. So the Quran confirmed that the one who misguide and the one who deceive 
is Allah. And not only he is the deceiver, the one who Allah misguide him, nobody can guide. And here we have a question showing how stupid Muhammad again. Because Allah here, he was talking to the believers who they are in Mecca. Later, they became believers. For sure, after he conquered them, you know. Just by the sword. Everybody converted to Islam in one day. So you see the stupidity? So Muhammad, he thought that those people will never accept him as a prophet. He made this verse. Saying Allah told him this verse. Okay, what is the verse is? He's trying to explain why people are going to believe in him. He said, <coughs> he said, Allah brother told me, are you going to, to guide those who are love and deceived? You cannot do that. <laughs> and the question Muslims, how Allah, he, did, he led them astray. He made them worship the idols. Because those are idol, idols worshippers like Muhammad. Allah has cast them back to disbelief. This is the Muslim translation. And the funny, anyone don't accept Muhammad as a prophet, he's a hypocrite. I mean, if we, give, if we, if we go and look for the word, the definition for hypocrisy, we will find that Muhammad fit with everything. Muhammad, he said to Muslim, you can have a certain number of women. For him, unlimited. Muhammad, he said, you have to pay the women before you marry her. Muhammad, you don't need to pay. Muhammad, he says, if you pray, don't piss. Uh, uh, when you piss, don't piss for the direction of the Kaaba. He used to piss the direction of the Kaaba. Muhammad, he said to them, after you have sex, you have to wash. Muhammad, he used to have sex with 13 women at least, according to the hadith, without even touching his penis to wash it. I mean, the, the guy, everything is wrong with him. Anyway, so as you see here, the one who deceive is Allah, and the one who Allah deceive, nobody can guide. Uh, we have a Muslim here saying, let me show you what he said. Uh, what, the, the admin, he deleted his comment? Why you did that? Guys, a Muslim, he says something. Only if it is really bad, like using the F word, etc., then you delete his comment. Otherwise, I will remove all the admins. We are not Taliban here. Don't take down a comment of a Muslim if he's opposing me. I read what he said, but it's taken down now. He says we are jealous from us because Islam teach adab, akhlaq, which mean behavior, good manner. Well, let us see if Islam teach good manner. When the Quran says any woman, she can give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. Is that a good manner? Your mother, she come to your house and she said to her husband, I want to give my vagina to the Prophet. Is that a good manner? Your prophet, he says, the one who is proud about his inheritance before Islam, tell him to go and buy the penis of your father. Is that a good manner? When your prophet, he says, go and suck the clitoris of Allah, is that a good manner? So don't talk about good manner. You are the last one to have it. This is why, actually, your Muslim women, they have a, need a guardian when she walk in the street because you don't have a good manner. Here, women, they walk in the street, they are fine. Your country, a woman walk alone, she is at risk, big danger. Because you don't have a good manner. Islam could not make you have a good manner. Because Islam made the women a sexual object. So, they are so proud about things they don't have. That's what they do. They claim honor, they have none. They claim dignity, they have none. They claim to be pure, they have none. What is the pure prophet? who teach a good manner when he says, any woman, any man, they like to do boom boom for three days, three nights to do muta. Is that the good manner? Aren't you the one who says girlfriend, boyfriend is wrong? So what is that? 
And, you know, at least girlfriend and boyfriend they don't pay each other for sex. Islam making the women act as a prostitute. Forcing prostitution. When Muhammad, he says, any man, any women, they like to do boom, boom for three days, three nights. Have a fun. And if you like to increase it, brother, increase it, brother. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, when a Muslim, he claim a good manner, is like a naked man claiming that he is very well dressed because he have a tie in his neck and the rest there is no clothes. So a Muhammad and he put a tie around his neck. It says, I'm a Muslim and he have no clothes. And he claimed that now he is fully covered. And the funny, you will see a Muslim in the chat saying, well, you are lying. We are showing in the screen what we are saying. We are showing in the screen what we are saying which means we are reading, we are not even saying. And they say to you, why you lie? Huh? Why you lie? You are a liar. I don't know this is the impact of the camel urine or the impact of eating the camel poopoo -poo of Aisha. Because you know, there's a video about it in YouTube how the Muslims, they were fighting over the poopoo -poo of the camel of Aisha because it's a holy poopoo. -poo. And we have to agree, it's, it's a holy. The smell was so good, brother. You know? So, when they come to us and they claim, and you know what you see? Because Islam teach good manner, there's tens of thousands trying, to, the whole country trying to leave Afghanistan. Because Islam teach good manner. Nobody want, a good, nobody want, a good, want the good manner of Islam. I mean, do you see how much Muslims are in love with Islam? Islam came, the whole country want to leave. I mean, all what happened, those want to practice Islam. So why everybody want to leave? I mean, what happened? Is it Islam is peaceful and beautiful? You see, peaceful Islam should be extreme peaceful people. But this is not the case. <laughs> all right, we go back to Shabir Ali. I don't know if, uh, how I'm going to finish this video, but... <laughs> It's going to take a miracle if I can finish it in the coming uh, 20 minutes. There is no way. I mean, the guy did not even speak for two minutes. I stopped him 20 times. The devil uh, cannot succeed in permanently misleading sincere servants of God. Or... Muslim, did you hear it? The devil, he cannot be successful to deceive the sincere people servant of God. So how did the devil mislead Muhammad? <coughs> huh? As long as the devil, he only can succeed. To deceive the one who is not sincere. Muslim, listen carefully. You cannot deceive anyone. He is a sincere believer. The Quran says so. Who said that? Supposedly Allah. Saying that to who? To the shaitan. Wonderful. So how shaitan, he gave Muhammad satanic verses. Any Muslim? Read carefully. Chapter 15, verse number 42. You shall not have, you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow thee. How shaitan he was able to control Muhammad. Any Muslim have an answer?
where it shall it say is where it says suck the clitoris of a lad search it in google i mean do not to stop to show you know don't be lazy go and say you know suck the clitoris of a lad you will find it in google in two seconds any muslim can tell me if shaitan he have no authority over anyone is sincere of the slaves of Allah, which is you Muslim supposedly, then none of you should be a sinner. <laughs> Correct? So what is the point of this stupid verse? If shaitan, he mislead every human being. And then shaitan, who mislead every human being, he have authority only to mislead the one who is not sincere. That's mean that a single Muslim is sincere. Do you see the stupidity? And Muhammad himself was a sinner. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, let's keep this page here. All right. Read carefully chapter 48, verse number 2. May Allah forgive you your sin in the past and the coming to come. Like, what the heck? But we just saw the verse in the Quran that the shaitan, he cannot mislead. Okay, how he mislead us? He make us do sin. Correct? When shaitan, he mislead us, what we do? We do sin, correct? Do we agree? Hey, Muhammad, do you agree with me? How shaitan he mislead us? He make us do sin. He didn't do sin. He made us do sin, correct? It's not shaitan who is practicing the sin. He made us supposedly. He deceive us. He tempt us, etc. So we do sin. Okay, wonderful. Then we find that the Quran saying, that Allah saying to Muhammad, which is very funny and very, very, very dummy, that may Allah, brother, forgive your sin. Like is Allah is talking and then Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin. What's wrong with you? And if Muhammad himself, he commits sin, so who is left? Is it Muslim they say that Muhammad is the role model for us, so we have to follow? Isn't it then they say that he is the best of mankind? For sure, he's the best of mankind. I mean, he like he like to have he like the guy. He go to his friend Abu Bakr. He see a girl. She is five years old. She, you know, he saw her panty. Man, sure, he gets so crazy. He want to have her as a wife. He said, Abu Bakr, I want your daughter. Abu Bakr, he said to him, but I am your friend. I'm your brother. Muhammad, he said to him, angry. He said, you are my brother in the religion of Islam only. What the heck? He's a role model. Taliban model. Every single Taliban, he want to be like the Prophet. Can we have an answer? Any Muslim there in the bushes? And why Allah is saying, May Allah forgive your sin? Listen carefully. Isn't it you, Muslim, you say? I'm a very bad chess player, chess player. Do you know that the chess is haram? I'm a very bad chess player. You know, sometimes I ask myself, <clears throat> when people, they say statement, I mean, what is behind the statement? I mean, why, uh, look what we are talking about and look what he is talking about, chess player. All right, Lord have mercy. Imagine you go to a butcher store and then the butcher, he asks you, sir, how I can help you? You say to him, you are a bad chess player. <laughs> anyway, no comment. So, that Allah may forgive your sin. Okay, who is saying, may Allah forgive your sin? Allah. Allah is asking other Allah. Allah. 
And as long shaitan, he mislead only and he make only those who they are not servant of Allah, not the decent one, commit sin. And how Muhammad then he commits sin? Unless he is not a decent servant of Allah. Do we have any Muslim? My argument are weak. Oh, okay, that's remind me of the weak hadith. Guys, your argument is weak, but he cannot refute us. I mean, do you see how weak it is? This is the answer for a very serious questions we keep posting one after one. What is the refutation, brother? Your argument is weak, brother. <laughs> you got us busted, man. I mean, can you forgive us, please? I don't know what to say now after after you get me this answer. That's it. I mean, what they can say? I'm out of words. I mean, do you see how a Muslim, he got you busted in a second? Did not even take him a second. I mean, how you can do that? I want to learn from you. Which Who is the one who taught you how to make refutation, brother? Which school is that? Is that Taliban.hum? Or Taliban.boom.boom? Boom? So our argument is weak. Explain. Shaitan he deceive only those who they are not decent servant of Allah. Then we find that Muhammad is deceived by Shaitan. How that happened? It's a clear evidence that Muhammad was not a decent servant of Allah. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Remember, I said I'm not going to stay long and my throat is hurting me. Eh, 47 minutes. I said to myself, let me make a 20 minute video. I hate it. How am I going to finish this video now? 47 minutes, I did not even start the first two, two minutes in the video. I mean, do you see how many mistakes and how many stupid things I found in two minute videos of Shabir Ali? Did you notice? This is why they don't dare to debate me. They don't. I'm still waiting for Shabir Ali. To tell us when he is going to debate me. We are just uh, waiting. I mean, when that that luxury day is going to happen. Hmm? Mic right there. Hello. Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh Shabir, when will you uh will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I uh, for those of you who don't know Christian <coughs> Prince, uh, he is uh, a personality. <coughs> I mean, what happened? Question, uh, Shabir, when will you uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I uh, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast, as far as I can remember. He is operating, as he remember. What a good memory, as he remember. Like I'm trying to say, Christian Prince, Christian Prince was Christian Prince was Christian Prince, Christian. Yeah, uh, Christian Prince. Yeah, mm, I, I remember him now. Mm. Remember, uh, he contacted me a long time. I never contacted him. Never ever. Never. ABN TV contacted the guy. Said to him, "Are you willing to debate a Christian person?" He said yes. He agreed. We set up the date. They told him the name, Christian Prince. He went in Google. He searched my name. He bought my books. 
He read my books. He contacted ABN. He says, I refrain. I'm busy with my PhD. <laughs> Since then, he is busy. <laughs> I'm a goal asking if I would debate him, and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, Shabir Ali, I have a question for you. How come you did not make any comment about a book? All of it is nothing but a disaster regarding Islam. Why you don't hold the book in your hand? Says, guys, let him show you lies in this book. <laughs> he bought my book. After he bought my book, he apologized for debating me. He said to himself, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and maybe he saw some of my videos, I don't know. So anyway. Yeah. So when it's come to debate uh, David Wood, they line up to David David Wood. Anthony Roger, they line up to any anyone. And just the second you say Christian Prince, we are willing to debate him, but face to face, face to face, all of them. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop here for today uh, to keep it short. It's already a 51 minute short video. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is a very short video. But just to remind you, Muslims, this is a serious question. I challenge you, any one of you, to answer. If Shaitan can only deceive and mislead, only the criminals, the bad ones. As you see, the Quran says that. Chapter 15, verse number 42. If Shaitan can make only those people, this kind of people, to commit sin, then how Muhammad was misleaded by Shaitan? And not only that, Muhammad, he received satanic verses from Shaitan. It's not only he commit normal sin. No, 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 he exceeded that point. He received satanic verses. Muhammad, he throw in his said Shaitan, Shaitan, he throw in his mouth the Muhammad supposedly satanic verses, and you know the most funny thing is when the Muslim they say, no brother, he was not successful to do it. Okay, he did. Read the Quran. No brother, he did not. You know the Quran. The Shaitan, he tried, brother, he tried. No, he did not try. He would succeed. Read with me carefully. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm typing in English again. Read the verse, read the verse. Did Shaitan, he was successful to throw satanic verses or not? The verse says yes, read carefully. Never, never we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but when he recited revelation or narrated, or spoke, Satan throw some falsehood, like what the heck? According to the Quran, every single prophet of Allah he sent, when they talk, Satan he's used their mouth to speak. Can you believe it? So Satan he threw the falsehood in their mouth, which means those prophets, they speak falsehood, and Muhammad is one of them. But Allah abolished it, hold on. How Satan you Muslim lie to us and say, Satan he try, if if he if if he try and he did not succeed, then there's no need to abolish. He abolished it. He took it away. He took it from where? From the Quran. So was Shaitan successful? Absolutely. Actually, even your book says that after Muhammad he received satanic verses, and Jibril he came to him and he says, Habibi Muhammad, Habibi Muhammad, what you did? What you did, Habibi? Those verses are from Shaitan Habibi. You know? And not to forget that the Muslim themselves, they say that the Prophet himself was bewitched. And bewitched by black magic is nothing but controlled by the devil. So how shaitan have no authority? Over the sincere Muslims. And shaitan not only he throw in his mouth satanic words, but he controlled him. Uh, Al Amin, Al Amin is trying to give us an answer. Let's see his answer. Thank you, Mr. Al Amin, for giving us this answer. 
Guys, uh, let us read what uh, Al Amin he said. Christian Prince, anyone can be misled by Shaitan. Bit more, a bit important thing is that a true believer return back to Allah SWT. Allah SWT. What does that mean? I mean, Allah SWT. Just let me know, please, because I'm not confused with this. Is that like a short wave radio or something? Allah is a WT. When he repent and succeed over Satan eventually, but hold on, my friend. The verse does not say what you are reclaiming. It says that Satan have no authority over my followers except the one who follow thee. Shaitan, he says, I'm going to deceive them. This is your translation, by the way. And look at translation, how fast it is. It says, because you misled me. Do you see it? So even Shaitan, he was misled by Allah. Do you see it? And the, by the way, for me, I don't accept that this is Shaitan talking, this is Allah talking. But this is what you are saying, this is your translation saying, Shaitan Iblis, he said, Oh my Lord, because you misled me, <laughs> S-A-W-T is SubhanAllah. I never heard of that thing. Hold on. How is it? Hold on, hold on. How, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, how, how, hold on. Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Guys, Allah praise him and he is high. Who said that? Allah. How Allah he praise himself? You see, the Islamic cult is like somebody. Where is the leak picture I deleted? Is somebody have like a, a container and this container is full of holes or like they have like 50, 70 bullets in it, holes from bullets. And then he's trying to put his finger to stop the leak. Read carefully and laugh. Who is the one who says Subhanahu wa Taala? Is that you, Muslims, or Allah? <laughs> is that you, Muslims, or Allah? It is you, Muslims copying Allah so how stupid it is that Allah he says such a thing this is subhanahu wa ta'ala dummy cult obviously the one who is writing the Quran he is not Allah and he forgot always to switch that I am Allah is talking supposedly Subhanallah wa ta'ala. <laughs> Thank you for the help anyway. We just brought, brought Allah for us. So, Shaitan, he was misled by Allah. Who is the one who misled Shaitan? Hey, Muslims, who is the one who misled Shaitan? Don't tell me now I'm lying. Who is the one who misled Shaitan? I want the answer from the Muslims. Who is the one who misled the shaitan? I will give you three options. The one who misled shaitan is his cousin, Mr. Shaitan cousin. Second option, the one who misled, misled shaitan, it was, uh, you know the thing, Joe Biden. Number three, the one who misled the shaitan is Allah. I mean, are you silly or what? Guys, satanic verses is not from authentic source, you idiot. I just showed you the Quran, my friend. Sorry to call you idiot. The Quran says Allah take it away. 
So how it is not authentic and Quran says, I take it away. Allah took away something that exists. <laughs> Guys, satanic verses is not from authentic resource. I just showed you the Quran. Allah take away what shaitan he throw. So the Quran confirm that there's two things happen. Shaitan he throw and Allah took it away. And then you say to me, This is not authentic source. I mean, what kind of food those people they eat? Abdul, focus with me, Vogas, Vogas, Vogas. Don't bogus, just Vogas. Huh? Allah abolish which shaitan he throw in. Is that authentic source? <laughs> this is not authentic source, okay? This is Quran. Quran saying Allah take it away. So if it's not so Allah saying he throw and Allah saying I took what he throw and then you say to me this is not true. <laughs> and then he, he, he come with a new thing now. He's saying that this this verse here is not a correct translation. How is that correct? It says you, you claim to speak Arabic, right? You want to call me? You want to call me so we can laugh? If you want, I mean, I can open Skype just for you, even though I'm planning to leave soon. But I will take you. I want you to read for us and translate, and we will take the word awaitani to the Arabic dictionary in the front of the eyes of everybody. You are saying this is a false translation. Do you accept the challenge? Translation made by Muslims, not by me. I mean, what's wrong with those Muslims? If a Christian prince, he talk his line. If a Muslim, he talk his line. If Shabir Ali is talk his line, even all of them, they are liars. See, when they show them how embarrassing the stupid cult is, the answer is weak hadith. Long translation, and you are lying. Come with something new. I mean, this is boring. Those are three excuses are overused, Abdul. So look what happened. Shaitan, he was misled by Allah. And then Allah, he gave a permission to Shaitan to mislead others. So now they became partners. <laughs> Hey, Shaitan, listen, listen. Brother and sister, the other person in the prince. I get some prince, he come with the father guild, and father argument, and I'm going to get the person. He said in the Quran, in the chapter of Hazar, verse number 13, and the person that mean, he said the following, that the priest said to Allah, my Lord, because you betrayed me, I tell you, 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 you. Can you repeat the last uh, part? Because you believe me, I don't really, really, really. Like, uh, Zach and I, Lord, hold on, my, my friend, just use your break. I mean, it's too too much fast for someone who don't speak Urdu. Okay, Christian Prince, because you're you to me, and you're not a big and you're not a big and you're not a big so I'm going to to you. But what the heck? What, 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 what you just said? Zach and Ike, just please, for the sake of the shin of Allah, may Allah bless his shin <clears throat> and make it sexy without hair. I mean, if, I hope Allah's shin is not uh, full of hair like mine. <laughs> but brother, did you remember Dr. Nabi Baikli? He says to me, okay, Allah have a shin. Do you think his shin is like yours? Like suppose that he got me busted. I mean, do you see, like, do you see how serious this answer Okay, okay. Allah have a sin. Do you think his sin is like yours, Christian Prince? And Christian Prince look at his sin. Man, I hope not. <laughs> like what? <laughs> so, Shaitan, he, he told Allah, you mislead me. Did Allah say to him, I did not mislead you? He I agree. I shall indeed adorn the path of error to them. What, what does that mean? To mix to sin? I will mislead them all. So Allah mislead Shaitan. Shaitan mislead us. Who is the real misleader? <laughs> oh boy.
now I understand the Chinese when they said he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Hey people, <clears throat> uh, I'm thinking to create a new channel. It's for the Bible only. Who like that idea? Which means we don't talk about Quran, about Islam, about garbage here, there. We explain only the Bible. And we don't debate there too, you know. Because you see, the, the second a debate happened, uh, they tried to provoke me. And I want to keep the channel clean because we will talk about the Bible, you know what I mean? I don't want to go and say words which is not suitable for the Holy Word of God. <clears throat> uh, remember Allah Azab? Yeah, I remember Allah Azab. <laughs> I will talk about it. Yeah, so I will create this channel soon and I will tell you so you can subscribe if in case you like. And what we will do, what I'm thinking to do, uh, uh, we will start like from the book of John as an example and we will take chapter by chapter. So we will have a long series until we finish uh, the, the, the first uh, book and then we go to the second book and those videos will not be deleted, will stay in YouTube, you know. And uh, anytime you feel like you want to, you know, listen to understand, but and and I will do my best to make them very simple. You know, the Lord, the, the beautiful thing about the Bible is you do not need tafsir of Ibn Kathir, and then after reading the tafsir, you feel more confused. Our Lord, He spoke to people who they have no education, nobody has PhD. They are not philosophers. Still, the philosophers, they enjoy it, and the farmers, they love it. And both, they understood it. That how God's words can be and should be. God, he can reach to every level of education, every level of intelligence. So the channel I will, I'm thinking to make, I did not even create the channel yet to give you the link, sorry. It's just an idea in my head is going to show how beautiful how simple in the same time if somebody himself he is because because you see that the issue is we live in two two thousand years after jesus and there's things always is connected to history as an example if i tell you a joke now my joke can be funny for you let us say if i say a joke uh, speak about cell phone you can laugh about it because it's funny. But if I say the word cell phone for somebody was exist 2000 years ago, you not the joke is missing something. What is this cell phone thing? So always there's a background for a statement. And sometimes because we are too far in time from the time of the statement, some they can be little bit need more inter like explanation. However, it's very simple because even if you don't have that background, still you will enjoy the Bible and you will not be misled. Here we see different in the Quran. The Quran says that even Allah himself, he can't explain verses. Even Allah himself can explain to us what he's saying. I mean, look at the stupid thing. Allah, he misled shaitan. How, how is that? Any Muslim can tell us how Allah misled shaitan? The misled here is in the beginning, which means before Adam he commits sin. How Allah and why Allah he misled the shaitan? Right? Any Muslim can tell us? Why Allah he misled shaitan? Why Allah start the evil? Because this verse confirmed to us that shaitan is a victim of Allah. And shaitan is not being evil when he do mislead, he is just take a revenge. He's angry. He felt lonely. I've been trapped by Allah. He fooled me. He, mis he mislead me. And now I am the misleaded one. The only one. So he decided to mislead others. This is what the Quran said. How that can be from Allah. If Allah is God.
and no if we start a channel for Bible doesn't mean we will stop here that one maybe will make it maybe once a week twice a week uh, uh, speaking about Islam is my major uh, mission uh, because this one bring me a lot of ex-Muslims you see if, if you see how many people leave Islam every day you won't believe it you see most of people who leave Islam is not the one who life in the air is those who leave Islam under the air because you know they uh, fear for their life so what we do here is extremely important there's tons of people they leave Islam we do not even know who they are I never know them you know they watch the videos they leave you see you might see a Muslim he is resisting hating me calling me names sooner or later he will see that everything I'm showing is absolutely truth it's in the front of you I'm showing reference I'm showing books I'm not making up stories shaitan was misled by Allah how many of you knows this Uh, look what this Muslim he said. <clears throat> Guys, listen carefully. Just to show you the stupidity of this logic and this religion. I'm not going to call you stupid drugs. I'm trying to call you a fool. Look what you just said. Christian Prince, Shaitan is not truthful. Just because he says Allah misled him does not mean he is telling the truth. Abdul. It is not shaitan who's talking, it's Allah. Who is the one reporting what happened? Allah. Is Allah saying, no, I did not mislead you? Do you see it anywhere says that? Allah, he agree. And he says, I will mislead everyone except the chosen, the guided one. So this was an agreement between Allah and Shaitan. So your false argument is hilarious. Because the one is talking is Allah, saying that Shaitan said that to him, and he, Allah, he agreed. And then Allah, he said to him, fine. Certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves, except those who follow you, the criminals, the bad ones, like Muhammad. So you see how silly you are. If Shaitan said you mislead me, and then Allah said to him, "No, I did not," then you have a good argument. But Allah is the only one is talking. Remember, by the way, guys, here you see the stupidity of this book. Isn't it the Muslim they say nobody can make Quran like the Quran? Is it what, this what they say? Okay, who is talking here? They will say to you the the Shaitan. Okay, what about here, Shaitan? Okay, so how Shaitan can make Quran? Oh, hold on, hold on. Who can make Quran? Only Allah. Okay. Who is talking here? Shaitan. Who is talking the verse after it? Shaitan. Is that Quran? Yes, brother. <laughs> but I thought only Allah can make Quran. Are you with me? People, are you listening? I mean, do you see how silly this stupid cult? Brother Tithar, Allah, he trained you to make Quran like the Quran. Okay, Zach and I. Who is the one talking there? This is Iblis. Okay. What Iblis he said? He said, Oh my Lord, because you believe me, and I tell me to put them down, and they put them down, and they put them in mankind in the earth, and they believe them. And verse number 40, it says, except that the chosen one, the guy that told them to put them Okay, uh, Zach and I, is that Quran? Exactly, it's Quran. Who is talking there? Fitan, a brief. <coughs> I thought only Allah can make Quran. <laughs> So how Allah only can make Quran and Shaitan making Quran? You see how silly this cult is? I mean, is that what kind of a comedy this comedy is? So Shaitan was misled by Allah. Allah is the real devil. Shaitan is a victim. 
In Christianity, no. In Christianity, Satan is a fearing foreign angel. God did not mislead him, and God did not force him to be the Satan. In Islam, no. In Islam, Shaitan is a victim of the biggest Satan, Allah. I mean, do you need more proof, all of you? More clear that Allah is Satan than this? How many of you save the reference? How many of you save the, res the reference? So in the future, if you have a Abdul arguing with you, how you can shut him up and say, hey, listen, I have a proof that your God himself is the source of evil and Shaitan is his victim. He is the real Satan. Chapter 15, verse number 39 is the proof. And this is the link. And this is the Muslim translation. Right? <clears throat> Anyone will use admins. Anyone will use a name of a Muslim, block him. Like Mimi, Hijab, Fifi, etc. Block him. You know, they are welcome to come, the real person, but those faker, we don't want them. So anyone he use a fake name, block him right away. Even if he's a Christian. Don't allow fakers. Satan tried to blame Allah. Okay, hold on guys. Satan he tried. Where, he, where it says he tried? And I mean, what's wrong with you? Guys, does it say there Allah he is saying that Shaitan he tried to blame me? Or Allah he agreed? <laughs> Uh, poor person very poor where in the verse it says shaitan he tried to blame Allah and Allah did not agree very silly I feel sorry for you Satan was arrogant no actually Satan was very humble read carefully he says I cannot uh, and I promise you I will not mislead except those who didn't don't follow you and this is a very stupid statement by the way because if Allah this is the Quran talking supposedly Allah if shaitan saying I will mislead only those who they are not chosen by you guided by you but if they are not guided by Allah already they are misleading <laughs> What a stupid religion. Guys, do you see it? Can you believe it? If Shaitan, he promised, he will mislead only the one who is not Muslims. But I thought the one who is not a Muslim, already he is misled. So what do you do to him? And Allah, he agree. <laughs> I mean, literally, this book is written by a certified idiot. Why a Christian cannot answer my uh, question? I don't know. Your name, you, you are an, you are a Hindu, but your name is Kamal. <laughs> At least change your name. Okay, Mr. Kamal, what is your what is your question, brother, Mr. Hindu? What is your question? Mr. Kamal, who is claiming that he is a Hindu, but he is a Muslim. I mean, a Hindu and your name is Kamal? Hmm. Israel was a man who was once named Jacob, and he is the first son, but Exodus 4.22 says Jacob was the firstborn son. So how Jesus is the only son of God? Uh, you see, this is a, a Muslim question, copy-paste. Let us go to the verse and people will laugh at you. Mr. Fake Hindu. <clears throat> <sighs> uh, 
let us show the whole verse and people will see why we laugh at those Abdul when they make comments. How are you doing, mister? Do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? The, the fake Hindu? Because I want to show everybody that you are a fake Hindu, you are a Muslim. You know what? Before I start answering you, I want you to say clearly that Muhammad is a false prophet, as long as you are a Hindu. Say Muhammad for sure is a false prophet. Can you do that? Can you do that? Kamal, can you confirm that you are a Hindu and say that Muhammad is a false prophet? Hello? Hello? I'm waiting for you. I have the verse ready for you to, you know, to, so we can show it to everybody. So you decide to be a potato now? You don't want to confess that you are a Muslim? He's a false prophet? Okay, no, 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 don't tell me he's a false prophet. Says, who is the false prophet? Who is the false prophet? Name him for me. <clears throat> who is the false prophet? You said he is a false prophet. Who? Because you say he's a false prophet. Who? I want you to say, Muhammad is a false prophet. Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, is a false prophet. Can we do that? Very simple, brother. Hmm. Did he mention it? I didn't see it. Taqiyya time? Anyway, you know, anyone he can go to the Bible and see that the word firstborn have nothing to do about firstborn of God. You see, because we don't have firstborn and secondborn in Christianity, we have only Jesus, the Son of God. So we don't have the second born. So this is very silly of you. So when the Lord, he speak about firstborn, is about who is the most important person for this nation. As an example, that we can be found in many other verses in the Quran. If you go and read in second, uh, 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 in Exodus 9, 13, Exodus 10, 3, those are, I can explain to you the verse. And then if you go to, uh, 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 Jeremiah, you know, the book of Jeremiah, you can see the same. So in Jeremiah 31, verse 9, it says, If Ephraim or Frim is called Jehovah firstborn in that in that in that statement. Why he is called in such a way? He is delighted, or he does say he is a, a special child, he is a dear child, but he is not the son of God. So this is a very false statement from you claiming that how Jesus can be, because for us, when we say that Jesus is a son of God. We are not saying there is firstborn and secondborn and thirdborn. We are saying there is only one begotten son. And the rest, all of them, they are children of God, including me and you. But when there is a person, he is special to God, he is firstborn to God for that nation. Are you there, Abdul? Are you there? The false prophet Muhammad? Yeah. You know, you know, people they come with silly stuff uh, uh, just to, you know, to, to prove nothing. Because do you think really the Christian did not see that the firstborn exists in the Bible many times? Secondly, 
where where you get this Jesus is the firstborn as a firstborn as a person as an example in the Quran it says that Adam was the first Muslim then it says Muhammad was the first Muslim and then it says Ibrahim the first Muslim right okay who is the first Muslim the first Muslim here is the firstborn present the firstborn born of what of a believer for a nation He's a special believer. So from his seed, from this nation, the firstborn is going to be this person. Let us say he is the grandfather of the rest. So the firstborn of this nation, because Jacob is Israel, and Israel is a nation, and he is the firstborn of the children of God, and the rest will be children too, but he is the firstborn. Now, do we have any Muslim want to answer what we said? And you know, uh, Mr. Kamal, uh, I want you to do me a favor. I want you, I will open my Skype for you, and I want you to call me because I really love to speak to a Hindu. People, do you believe that Kamal is a Hindu? Do you really believe he is a Hindu? This is my challenge to the fake Hindu. If you are a Hindu, prove me wrong. I want you to speak only for three minutes, not five. I will open Skype for you, and you call me, and we speak together for three minutes. So either you are a false man like your Prophet Muhammad, or you are truly a Hindu. Do you agree, Mr. Kamal? And by the way, Kamal, I encourage Muslims like you to do the same. Because only shameful, let's say, only the one who is ashamed of Muhammad, they will deny that they are Muslims. And you are one of them. Prove me wrong. Call me, and I promise you, I will not hold you for long. Three minutes. Are you there? What you will tell me now, your mom, she did not allow you to talk? Coward. He is ashamed of his prophet, you know. He thought he can practice taqiyya. So, you know, those questions are very simple and they are mean nothing for us. It's when it's come to uh, trying to, to, uh, to refute Christianity. Uh, because Jesus is the son of God. But there is no other son of God beside him. This is all what the, the Bible teach. And when God, he says, my firstborn, he is my firstborn as a gift for this nation. He will be their leader. He will be their guide. He will be their prophet. He will be their uh, 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 mentor. It's not about God giving birth. Very silly argument. And as you see, Mr. Kamal, he hide and he run. <clears throat> in the same time, by the way, in chapter 15, verse number uh, uh, 39, and I gave you the, the link. I don't know how many of you did save it. This verse proved to us many things. That Shaitan is not the most evil. Take a note, please. Who is the most evil? Is it shaitan? No. Quran confirmed that the most evil is the one who deceives shaitan. Shaitan is a victim. Shaitan is a victim of the big misleading devil. You see, here let us, uh, let us question a few things. You see, people, they read things, but they don't go deep. When I say I did mislead the person, who is more evil and who is naive in this situation? Can, can somebody help me? If the verse saying that shaitan, he was misled by Allah. Who is the naive and who is the evil? Who is the victim and he was a naive? And who was the evil one?
Can somebody, can people help me? Allah is the one who misled shaitan. Quran confirmed that. Quran doesn't say that shaitan, he said that Allah reject. No, Quran agree. Allah is showing, Allah now is showing off his power. He can mislead shaitan and he did. So who is really the real shaitan? Allah. And you will notice here that shaitan is a believer in Allah. Look, look, look carefully. Oh my Lord. Shaitan in Islam is a Muslim. Did you notice? Did you notice? This verse is extremely important. Maybe I should make just a video about it alone. So we can support it with more hadith and so we can, you know, we can have like a, a full study about the stupidity of the one who made this book. So shaitan, he believe in Allah. Not only he believe in Allah, he called him my Lord, which means his obedience. Shaitan was misled by Allah. Allah, he agree. Shaitan, who obey Allah, he said to him, I'm going to mislead them. Oh, except those who follow thee. So shaitan is doing service to Allah. Don't the Muslims they say, Allah, he tests you? How many times we hear Muslims saying, Allah, he tests you? How he tests him? Shaitan working for Allah. So Allah and Shaitan, they are a corporation of deception. Shaitan, he worked for Allah. Allah, he sent Shaitan to you. And Shaitan is not a bad person in the eye of Allah. Allah, he chose Shaitan to be misled because he want him to do a certain job. Because he's evil. Right? Uh, another example of the Muslims when they when they post things which is funny. This is Al Amin. Before we finish here, let me show you what Al Amin he uh, he posted, so we can laugh. Thank you, Al Amin, for posting this. And in a second, people will laugh at you. Huh. Let me take a screenshot for it, so people will laugh. A Muslim, he could not refute us. A Muslim, he cannot answer us. What he do? He tried to seek revenge. Says, okay, you know what? Allah is the devil. Eh, your God is the devil too. But my friend, even if this is true or not, that will not change the fact that your God is the devil. <laughs> and you agreed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like there's two idiots. The first one said to the first one, the second one, your mother is a whore. So what if I'm, your mother is a whore too? So now he agreed that his mother is a whore. Do you see the stupidity, people? They try to save their God from, their, from, his, from his stupidity. So what they do? They try to change the topic and they pose for us verses have nothing to do with what they claim. Let us zoom in. God make people believe that a, what it is false. What it is false. Uh, can you tell me what do you mean by it is? What does that mean? Why you don't uh, why you don't call me and tell me what I'm trying to say? How in Second uh, uh, Thessalonians it says that God is a deceiver? Can you help us? Are you willing to call me? I mean, do you have the courage to do so? In fact. The same chapter you are quoting for me, it says, let no man deceive, by, deceive you by any means. 
So how that can be, you idiot? What's wrong with those Muslims? He went to the Bible, he searched for the word deceive, he found one. And do you know even who's talking there? <laughs> uh, he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. You know? What we can say? The question is, those Muslims who they claim that they have an argument, Why did they call us and show us their argument? Why they sit and they hide between the bushes? Why they have no courage to call us and say, okay, I'm going to show you. Idiot. Silly. Google researcher. You get the opposite. You try to prove us wrong, you prove yourself wrong. Uh, which hadith about Muhammad death body uh, there is many hadith but now we are time to go uh, but I will give you one just to help you because but next time don't keep posting the same thing over and over if I don't answer, this means I saw it, and it's not time for it. Okay. Some people, they keep, you know, they keep posting the same question, which is very annoying. Don't do that. I have to give you an Arabic uh, website and then you can use Google translation to translate. Let us hope this website will open. Okay, this is the link for the one who asked. Open the link and you can use Google Translation. And this is where you find the, the reference when you open the page. When you open the page, the page will look like this, as you see. It says here that he was, he died in Monday and he was buried uh, Wednesday at night. And then they continue here saying that they were fighting over his death. And then uh, Al Abbas, he said, bury your friend, which means Muhammad. He is a human and he stink as all a human they stink. This is one of the reference, all right? So you can use Google Translation. And next time, for those who ask where we can find this, you see, that's mean you are not ready as long you heard it, as long you know it. How come you don't have the reference for it? Because each time we say those things, we give the reference. You know what I mean? Each time we say those things, we give the reference. That's mean, now I will give you the link, you will open it, and you will close it, and you will not save it, so later you will ask me again. And that will be just a waste of time for us. So you can go and use Google Translation. This is Sunan al-Durami, or a Dharmi, potato, 
and uh, is giving you very important reference about Muhammad being a liar. Because Muhammad, remember, he says that we as a prophet, our body will not decay. Our body will not decay. And then this is why they did not bury him. Because he said his body will not decay. They thought he is telling the truth. No, here we can say, you see, if they want to say it doesn't say that because it's in Arabic, we can use Google Translation in front of your eyes. Here we go. You click here, choose a Google Translation. Let us see. Google Translation. Translate to English. Hmm. All right. Here it says, Let us see where Al-Abbasi talk. Look at the translation. <laughs> no comment. Where is Al-Abbas? Hold on. Uh, yeah, translation is coming horrible. I don't know what happened this translation. <laughs> okay, look at this here. It says, like you say, you are not loved one on God to look for dirt that the Messenger of Allah upon him has died and even left his uh, way approach clear. Fahil uh, <laughs> What happened to this translation? Let us use different method. Hold on. I will use different method because for some reason translation is coming really horrible. We will open Google Translation and we will copy the text by itself. Uh, Google Translate. And by the way, we are not done with the uh, what his name uh, Shabir Ali we, we will continue later but what we can do so we copy the text here we go down alright فقام العباس فقال إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قد مات وإنه لبشر وإنه يأسن كما يأسن البشر oh people go and bury your friend okay so he is a human and he stinks the same as all humans think. So now we copy this and we will go to Google Translation here. Copy paste. Uh, Arabic. All right. Abbas, he said, the messenger of Allah had died. And... Uh, Jason and Jason? <laughs> Jason and Jason? What Jason mean? I don't know. So, suppose he should say, and he stink as all a human being they stink, so bury him. I don't know what this translation here is really saying. Let us see uh, in, in Indonesian what it says Abbas Jadi Dai Barakata Rasulullah is AW Talaha Manangala Dan Dia. Berikato tha, okay, da. What Jason mean? What what this word Jason mean? Let me see what Jason, what, what Jason, what Jason mean? I don't know what this word mean. Hold on. Yeah, this is very f funny translation. Yeah, I don't know why it's coming like this. But anyway, anyone who speaks Arabic, you can see it. It says, يَأْسَنُ كَمَا يَأْسَنُ الْبَشَرُ He stink. Actually, uh, uh, you can take it to uh, uh, the dictionary and you can see the words one by one. All right? Jason. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Jason, Jason, Jason and Jason. <laughs> okay, look like look like even Google was screwed up by by the words of Muhammad. Nobody knows what uh, 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 Google is saying. No one knows what it's meant. Save Allah. <laughs> Oh boy. Jason and Jason, not Indonesia. I don't know what this Jason. I'm why in the world is coming Jason and Jason. I don't know what it is. And what do, what does Jason and you know like uh, Vadaniowa? Uh, what? Okay, we we'll go back to English again. I mean the translation is coming so so weird. What is this, brother? Uh, what what is the English? I don't see the English. Here we go, English. Jason, Jason. He is Jason, Jason. So for some reason, the word Yesan coming as Jason, Jason. Okay. Okay. Try to translate the quotation without any word. Okay, let us do that. We will follow your advice. Here we go. So Yesan. Kama yasan al bashar. All right. And then we go to Google. <coughs> Let us see if Jason and Jason is going to appear. Miserable as miserable as you. <laughs> the guy was saying Muhammad is a miserable as a miserable human. <laughs> Hey, brothers and sisters, the prophet is miserable as miserable a human. No, it says he stink as all a human they stink. But at least now Jason disappear. For thank God, the word Jason is not what happened to Google. I mean, how Jason now became miserable. So no, for sure the guy is not saying the prophet is miserable as miserable a human. He is saying he stink. Yes, and you know. Uh, let us do this hold on there is a dictionary arabic english dictionary maybe i can use it okay I search for Yasan, it shows me Yasin. See, Google is confused. Hmm. Yeah, you see, I search for the word in English meaning. It shows me a different word, which is Yasin. We don't want Yasin, we want Yasan. You know? Google is confused. We are not looking for Yasin, we are looking for Yasan. Yeah. Let us try to find Al Ma'ani dictionary here. Hold, okay, hold on. Al Ma'ani dictionary. Maybe I can find it. Hold on. I will try to find it in the English website. No.
Yeah, I could not find anywhere in English where we can use it. But anyway, the best if you want, if you are a Muslim and you don't trust me, for sure, this is your, you know, not normal for you to have. Uh, you can ask a Muslim Sheikh, those who Sheikh who have a YouTube page, you know, they go live. Tell him, brother, what is, don't, don't tell him the hadith first. Uh, tell him what this word mean. He will tell you. And then give him the hadith. Tell him it says the following. Let us see what he will say. You know? Let us see. What he will say. Yeah, I could not find anything in English. <clears throat> anyway, there's many hadith. There is one say speak about his fingers, how they became like his nails became green, blue, something like that, and how his uh, fingers they shrink, like they collapse on each other. And then uh, there's a hadith speak about qadraba batnahu, which means his belly became full of fart. Qadraba batnahu. You know, when a human being, uh, he died, still there is uh, the bacteria inside his stomach, uh, they will keep processing the food, you know? And because now he cannot fart, he's dead. So all this gas will, stuck, will be stuck in his belly. So his belly will start expanding. Uh, let us see where we can find this hadith. Um. I'm just trying to find you and like a, a trustworthy reference, I mean a website, Muslim website, so they will not say this is it's not, you know, true. Here we go. We found one. <clears throat> Let me give you the link. Oh, the link is so long, this one. But I will try to find it in different website then. But here it says, فتربصوا حتى ربى بطنه. So they waited until his the prophet his belly, his stomach became so big like a pregnant woman. So Abu Bakr he says the one who used to worship Muhammad, when Muhammad he died, and the one who worship Allah, Allah is alive he don't die. Because here the Muslim they became a chaos. Muhammad he told them that his body will not decay. He promised that and this is authentic. And then, less than three days after, Muhammad, his skin turn, turn, in, turn into different color, his stink and his belly, his stomach is full of fart. And then when the fart became too much, or the gas became too much in the belly, then that stomach will start releasing the fart because there's no more space, which means the dead body will start releasing uh, this bad smell. Uh, let me see if I can find uh, a website, a link I can post because this link here have Arabic word. Let us see. <clears throat> this one have Arabic words too. See the problem here? If you look with me, in the top there's Arabic words in the in the in the uh, in the link. 
so now the only way I can do it for you I will take it and I will try to shorten the link okay and let us see if it's going to work because when you post a link have Arabic words Google will not accept all right I will post the link for you tell me guys if it's going if it's working so you will find that you can count with me how many lines you see in the screen one line two line three line four line five six seven eight nine all right so you can translate it from the nine or yeah from the nine here فقال فتربصوا حتى ربى بطنه تربصوا mean they waited until his stomach became so big full of fart this is the end of Muhammad full of fart you know? and I changed the Muslim to say to me I'm lying you see this is the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra do you remember the sheikh who he claimed to be a sheikh he called me he says read read At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra here Look, this is At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra Tabakat al Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number two, page number 271. Fair and square. They cannot say we are making things up. This is their books, respected books. And those books are written by Muslims. Tran you know, and it's not translated. I don't know if this book is translated or not yet. I wish. You can click at Google. I don't know how Google will, translation will come. <clears throat> because there's some Arabic words here are very difficult for software to translate maybe the page could not be translated to try again let us try again okay uh, so here it says So they waited. Uh, the prophet, he was arrested. <laughs> I mean, translation of Google is really horrible. The prophet was arrested. <laughs> the guy is dead. He was arrested by the Taliban. <laughs> no, it doesn't say he was arrested. It says he stink. His sorry, his his belly full of fart. So translation of Google again is not really a good translation. But what we can do, you know? Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. <clears throat> uh, uh, Kamal, you see, you are in the wrong place. Don't come here again. You claim to be a Hindu. You don't dare to call me. And you are stupid. And you are here coming to call people names and curse them. Don't come here. Fake Hindu. So, uh, you see, this is why I don't like those questions because they take us away from our topic. So next time, anyone will do that. I will block you. Don't ask a question unless we finish the topic and we say, who have a question? Is that fair, guys? Because look what we were talking about, and now we spend maybe 20 minutes or maybe more just to answer this question about Muhammad, his thing. So what benefit that will do us? We have videos talking about it. Go watch it. And now after posting those links, did you get any benefit? No, because you cannot read them and you will not save them. Anyway, so I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. And I hope... Uh, Today we have enough for, for Shabir Ali. For sure we will continue with him because this is the best comedy to show you how Muslims they say things totally contradicting what their religion uh, teach. And remember, someone like Shabir Ali, he claimed to be a sheikh. He's not like a, just a, a guy in YouTube, supposedly. You see, he grew a beard, he shaved his mustache, and maybe many of you do not know that this is what Muhammad he used to do. He shaved his mustache, he grew his beard, and that will make you look like the devil. I mean, it's very ugly. Look at look at it. I mean, what is this? What is that? And what the point of this beard? Anyway, it looked like 
look like a fish or a, a goat grow something and it's not it's not even it's not nice so and what the point of this beard anyway you know what exactly trying to prove to us he's knowledgeable he is someone and so and the funny is the Muslim they say that it is haram to change the way Allah he made you look like it is haram it is act of the devil to change the way Allah made you look like so why you shave your hair and why you shave your mustache and why you do circumcision you know what I mean this religion cannot stand any ground the second you start questioning this the stupidity they practice they fail right away it is haram brother to change the way Allah he made you look like it's haram okay why you are shaving your mustache Allah he made you with mustache as a man why you need to shave it Allah he made you your penis have that piece why you cut it you see if you say the Jews they practice so are you copying the Jews he for you you say that we should not change the way Allah he made us look like and then we find that the Muslims is the one who changed the way Allah he made them look like Muhammad he wanted to be blonde he colored his hair red why you change your hair color why you want to be blondie the blondie Muhammad well he want to be pretty you know I mean Arab they like blonde girls and a blank blondie you know I don't know why I don't know why Shabir Ali is not dying his beard blondie like Muhammad what's wrong you don't want to follow the step of the Prophet or because you are you will look funny and you don't want to do it and the funny is all those books behind you do you know really how to read them Shabir Ali I don't know if he do, do he knew Arabic guys what all those books are behind you what and this is a lot of money do you know how much money is that yeah when I create the new channel I will let you know I remember the new channel will be only for the Bible and we will not go there every day maybe once or twice a week and uh, we will not allow anyone to speak about other religions we will not debate Muslims there because uh, we want to we want the channel to be clean very clean you know what I mean Bible and Bible only. If a Muslim want to debate us, he come here. Even if you have a question about the Bible, this is the channel to debate. That one is to teach about the Bible. Anyone want to debate, he come here. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, we invite Mr. Shabir Ali uh, for the sake of the Shin of Allah to have a conversation with me. You know, for maybe twenty minutes. We cannot. We do not need to call it a debate. Because everything this person he's, he teach about Islam is far away from the truth. And he knew that. So uh, he tried to bet you, like he tried to, like, you know, Shabir Ali, he think that for the first person in front of him is like a, a goat. He put his hand under the, the, the neck of the goat and he play with her neck. And then the goat will go and sleep like our cat, you know. He tried to bet you. If that doesn't work with us. We are not bets, Shabir. That work with Muslims. Muslims will listen to you. But the truth is totally different from everybody. Even this guy in his video, in his, his argument, he said that non-believers, they will go to heaven. Just wait, I will show you. The same debate, you can go watch it. He said non-believers, they will go to heaven from other faith. Other faith. Is that really what Islam teach? Very, you know, very, very weird. Uh, uh, you know, actually for me, I hope that more people like Shabir Ali will be exist in the Islamic world. For that will demolish Islam left and right. I support this person. Al Amin, you do not answer false uh, Bible. Uh, you run like a coward. Well, Al Amin, I have a I have a challenge for you. I will open my Skype and you call me, you, and you ask me a question about the Bible. Is that fair, guys? Right now, I was going to leave. Let us see who is the coward. I accuse you to be a coward. If you don't do so. Do you dare? Elamin? You know mean? I'm not going to leave. I was leaving. I was saying goodbye. But now because of you, Elamin, you know because you are the hero, do you dare to call me and ask me a question about the Bible?
and he will stay with me until I finish the answer. Abdul, are you there? Do you dare to call me right now and ask me your question about the Bible? And you promise me you will not hang up until I finish. I'm very sure. Say yes, I will open my Skype. Extremely sure. So, say yes. I'm waiting. I mean, what you will lose? Okay. We will talk about hey guys look at this look at this look at this look look how much how he's doing popo in his panty already okay we will talk about bible only i am the one who give you the answer you don't tell me how to answer you idiot you said you have a question about the bible you don't tell me how to answer so now the coward is terrified okay are we going to talk about bible only <laughs> i will answer you the question you ask me how i answer this is my business so do you dare to call me your job is to ask me the question about the Bible. My job is to answer you. So now he is doing poo, -poo in his pant. Oh, Christian Prince, oh, you go. <laughs> thank you, Sam, Sam Shaman. Thank you, my brother. No, no need there. There are potatoes, you know what the hell? He's already doing he's already doing pee. -pee. Okay, we will talk about the Bible only. Your question is about the Bible only. How I answer this is my business. What happened? Pee pee time? Are you going to do pee pee now? Do you see how much they fear even to ask? They fear even to ask the question, not to answer it. They cannot answer a question, and now they fear, they fear to ask the question. What a shame. Who is the coward? I know. I know you too. I will call you, but not run to Islam, you will only answer through your Bible. You don't tell me how to answer, potato. Are you ashamed of your religion? Guys, are you ashamed if I use your religion to answer what it says from your book? Stupid idiot. I will give you a last warning. Either you say I'm going to call you or I'm going to block you. Is that fair, guys? How I answer what I say in my answer, people are the judge. People here, they want to hear an answer. You don't tell me how what to use to answer. I'm answering you about the Bible. How I answer, this is not your business. Stop being a coward. So, are you willing to call me? This is the last, last warning. And then any time you come here, you change your name, I know that it's you. I will block you. Say yes. I will open Skype right away. And what you will say to the Muslim girls now? The one you try to date them in the internet. You will tell them the guy he challenged me just to ask a question. Don't say anything, just ask the question. And stay with me life. Don't hang up. Shame, shame on you. You are even afraid now to ask a question? What a potato, what kind of religion, this religion you, you follow? What kind of a prophet, what kind of God he says to you, I'm going to support you? Why your God cannot support you even to talk to me for three minutes? What happened? And the funny, he says, you're a coward, you run away from answering about the Bible. 
Everything you said about the Bible, we answer you. You always tell Muslims not to go to Bible, but only answer from Islam. You stupid idiot son of Muta. I say to them, don't change the topic because we are talking already about Islam. This is what you are doing right now. But now I give you special permission to call me and ask question about the Bible. And this is what Muslims do. We talk about Islam, they try to escape and talk about the Bible. So I give you a special permission. Get out of here, son of Muta coward. Go practice Muta and be a decent person like the Prophet. Go and rent the women in the elevator for three days, three nights. And don't forget to discuss the payment. And by the way, there's no divorce after that because it happened automatically when the time is up. The first sex timer ever in history, Muhammad timer. You coward. You always say to Muslim, don't go to Bible. Because I asked the Muslims a question, they changed the topic, the whole topic, you know, how Jesus is God. We ask him how the prophet, he used three rocks to clean his ass. This is what you just did. We show you your prophet, he died, and his belly is, is, is growing. Okay, what your answer is? You run away from talking about the Bible. Every single question you show ask me about the Bible, I put it on the screen and I answer. Is that correct, guys? Every claim he posts in this in the text about the Bible, I answer it. Go back in the in the in the video. How we run away from it. I put your question in the screen, and I put the verse in the screen, and we answer you. And you cover you say we run. This is what they do now with, with America. America is, you know, they're, 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 they're the shoes of the American soldiers over the head of the Taliban for 21 years. And now the American, four years ago, they said, before September 11, we are going to leave Afghanistan. Now they claim victory. I mean, the guys, they said to you four years ago, and they took all their army. They have only 2,500 soldiers. 2,500 soldiers. They control Afghanistan. Can you believe it? How powerful this American army is? Where is Allah? 2,500 troops. They put, the sho they put their shoes in the top of Taliban. Taliban, 300,000 fighters. All the last year, more than actually 24 months, there's 2,500 American soldiers only. Why Taliban, they could not defeat the American? Now they are leaving, they are in the airport to claim de defeat. They are leaving. <laughs> I mean, do you see, their, their lies is beyond stupidity. Their, their claim is beyond stupidity. Uh, Mr. Uh, what's your name? Uh, your pinned text uh, super user. As long as my pinned comment is a joke. And it's made the opposite. So why you are here, you stupid idiot? As long as you are a smart person, you must be a stupid donkey to be here. And your mama, she could not send you to the park because nobody can give you a ride. Your comment in the pin text is a joke. So do the opposite. Oh, you want me to respect the stupidity and the lies? No, we don't respect stupidity and lies. We respect a human being when he is respecting himself. The second you are a liar, I will call you a liar. The second you are an idiot, I will call you an idiot. What does this have to do with respect? I will disrespect you if I say you are not a liar when you are a liar. And I will humiliate you when you deserve to be humiliated. It's a joke. 2,500 troops. Why didn't Biden leave? 2,500 troops. So Afghanistan was controlled all those years by 2,500 U.S. soldiers. What kind of victory you have? And now the Muslim Sheikh, they go, Allah Akbar, we defeated the American. The American, they are leaving in the airport. Nobody, actually, until now, the Taliban don't even dare to shoot a bullet at the American. There's a three there's a three meters between them and the American. Three meters. Why you don't attack them as long as you are defeating them? Attack, attack, brother. You don't dare. 
<laughs> Defeat is you go in war and then the enemy lose their ground meter by meter, step by step. This is not what happened. Americans are they left by themselves. So the liars, they always claim victory without debating me. They always claim victory even when they lost Jerusalem. You believe it or not, the Muslims, they, they celebrate victory in the day they lost Jerusalem. Until now in the Middle East. Can you believe it? Hamas, just a few months ago, when the Israelis were hitting them, and they were begging everybody, stop, stop the massacre against the Palestinians. Stop, please, they are killing the Palestinians. And when the Israelis stop, Allahu Akbar, that be a victory. Why you Christian men are afraid of Muslim men? It's the opposite, Sarah. The Muslim men, they are not even men. For me, who said to you, I don't show my face? Why you want to see my face? Are you interested? Here we go. Our Christian men, they go. The one who eat the Quran, he go to the Muslim in their tent and they give him five. Who are you? The question is, if Muslims are people who we fear them, where are they? And why you want to see my face? Did somebody told you this is a TV program? Go and get married. Do muta. Do you feel Muslim men? They beat you. We don't. Sarah. You know what? Your prophet, he said something truthful about you as a Muslim girl, not about non-Muslim girls. He said, Naqisatu aqlin wa deen. Your prophet, he claimed that you are half a brain. And because you are half a brain, you will go to hell. And because you are half a brain, the majority of you are the inhabitants of all. And the question is, as long as men, Muslim men are brave, where are they? If we go in the war, you disappear and you run. If we go in peace, you disappear and you run. If we say we want to debate you in the internet, you disappear and you run. And then you claim that we are running away from you? Me, myself, I was in the American army. Where you been? We go to Iraq, Saddam Hussein, he hide under the, the, the pillow. In the basement. We go to Afghanistan, Osama bin Laden, he hide between the goats. We go to Syria, ISIS leader, he hide you know, between goats and the zucchini. And then our dogs get him. Where is the Muslim man? The terrorist. The scary ones. They attack women, they attack civilians, they attack kids. When our real men come to you, you run. But look what your prophet said about you, Sarah. He said, oh women, the majority of you will go to hell. The majority of women in Islam, they will go to hell. Read carefully. You should give a charity. Huh? Okay, well, Prophet, why? Because the majority of you, because I have seen you, that the daughter of the hell are the majority women. Do you see it? This is you. Allah promotes masculinity, while Christian promotes femininity. Okay, let us talk about this. You see, I was going to leave. This is, by the way, this is Al-Amin. He changed his name and he came as a female. This is the same person, but I'll, but I will use his comment for the benefit. As long as you are saying this, if this is true, how come we have real men you don't? Is it a real man is the one who beat his wife? The answer no, only cowards. Men who they cannot fight with men out, they go and they take their stress from outside and they beat their wives. That is Muslim men. True or not? True or not? A real man, he will never beat a woman. A real Muslim man, he beat a woman. It's an order in the Quran. So Islam teach the opposite. Secondly, you're a prophet, he put eyeliner three times a day. Why? He want to be pretty. You're a prophet, he dye his hair. What hair? He want to be blonde. He want to be blondie. You're a prophet. He piss like a woman. And you're a prophet. He wear women clothes. And you are talking about feminine? 
And not only that, your prophet, he enjoy kissing men and men kissing him down his belly. Show me how Christianity encourages us, encourage us to be feminine. Challenge you. Where? How? Huh? Is that your prophet talking about how a man was kissing him down his belly? Is that a feminine man or a man? Is that a tradition in Islam that a man, he kiss a man down his belly and the other man, he left up his t-shirt and they get naked and they start touching each other? And the other guy, he says to him, don't stop, this is how I like it. Who is the feminine? Huh? Isn't it your prophet, he says, I never received revelation unless I am in the clothes of Aisha? Who is the feminine? And hold on. What is the punishment of somebody who is a gay in Islam? Read carefully. A, fi uh, 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 a homosexual imam, he was leading a prayer in the time of the caliphate, Abu Bakr. The Muslims, they came to the caliphate and they said, he is tempting us. <laughs> He's what? He is tempting us. Let me show you the hadith. Here we go. Sahih al-Bukhari. So don't tell me this is a weak hadith. I went to Uthman ibn Affan while he was be signed, which means he became the caliphate. I said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what fell into you. We led by a salat, a prayer of a leader of al-fitna, trials, affliction, etc. And we are afraid of being sinful in following him. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, what fitna, what is that? What happened? He's talking about what exactly? What the problem with this, this sheikh? The sheikh who is leading the prayer, Sheikh Uthman. Huh? What happened? In following him, Uthman, he said, a salat, the prayer is the best of the deeds. So when the people do good deeds, do the same. With them, when the bad deeds, when they do bad deeds, avoid it. Okay, sound good. As Zuhuri, he said, in my opinion, listen carefully, in my opinion, one should not offer salat behind a feminine person. Are you there, Al Amin, who became Sarah? He changed his gender. Are you there? Who is the one encouraging effeminate? Are you there? Black this coward, Al Amin, who changed his gender to Sarah. You think if he changed his gender, we will not know it is him. So the one who supports such a thing is Islam. And here the caliphate is saying that, so what if he is homosexual? Pray behind him. And not only that, here you must ask yourself, the hypocrite who can complain. It says here that this person is a feminine man, right? Okay. So why they are tempted? Anyone can tell me? Al-fitna, trial, affliction, etc. So if they, you know, they are tempted by the ass of a homosexual. That's mean the one is complaining he is a homosexual too. Correct? The guy is afraid that he, the, the believers will be tempted. Okay, how? I mean, is she is a girl wearing a short skirt? No, it's a guy. So how the believers will be tempted by a gay? Unless all of them they are gays. Do you see the hypocrisy of this religion? Do you see the stupidity? All of them they are. Actually, if, I, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will die laughing. The whole, the whole tribe of Muhammad is homosexual. A real man will not be tempted if a man bent over in front of him. I mean, how in the world that will happen? Unless the one behind, he himself is the gay. <laughs> this is why they don't dare to talk to me. They don't dare to debate me. Who oh, are you sure you had your face? With mud, without showing my face, you are doing poo, -poo in your panty. So what if I show my face? I will scare the hell of you. Cowards. 
I'm surprised actually you did not say why you don't show your bum because it looked like you're interested in the bum not in the face yeah what about the hill Kalbi the boyfriend of Muhammad Allah he sent Jibreel in the look of the Kalbi why because well, the Kalbi is all the night with, with Muhammad so Muhammad how he can explain to his wives that how this guy he keep coming and spending the night with him he said to him hey, this is Jibreel Jibreel he took the look of the Kalbi why he is out of look how good looking he is <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, don't forget to download the video. As you know, we don't keep them for long. And soon we'll announce to you when we have our channel about the Bible so you can join us. And uh, what happened to the channel Quality of Life? Nothing. We, we talk about many topics. I don't know. There's not more to talk. I think there's more important things in life, more than stuff we talk about here. I believe that fighting the cult of Islam is more important. We did our part there. And... Uh, if you notice, just to let you know, I mean, you keep, guys, you keep asking what happened to that one. We open there, we have like 300 people go there. Why? We open here, we have 2,000 people here. Why? So don't complain. Obviously, here it's more needed. And I believe teaching the Bible is way more important than, you know, personal questions. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And don't forget, always your support is, is good. And the best way to support what we do is downloading our videos, adding subtitles to your language. You can make them short, share them with Muslims in different, you know, different countries, different languages. Let them see how the stupid this cult is. Take reference, take notes, because time will come and Christian Prince will not appear in, in YouTube no more. Why? Because simply I might die. I mean, it's normal, isn't it? All of us, we will die. And then the Muslim, they will gain victory, by the way. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allah killed him. Brother, did he? <laughs> Don't you think it's too, too, too late? I mean, this Allah, he waited until I wrote all my books. And I demolished Islam by thousands and thousands of videos. And then he will kill me? Allahu Akbar. Allah killed him. Hey, brother, who killed the Prophet Muhammad? Allah? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who made the Prophet Muhammad stink? Allah? <laughs> mean the stinky Prophet was stinky by the permission of Allah? What kind of God does God is? I mean, come on, can't you put him in the refrigerator? You're Allah. He could not stop the nature. When Muhammad he says our body will not decay. Couldn't Allah protect his prophet from being exposed with his lies? At least for three days? But guess what? The Muslims did not bury Muhammad for three days because they thought he is the same as Jesus. They believed the coward. And then he stink. He stink. The stinky Muhammad. And here we expose the stinky Muhammad and all the stinkies who try to defend his lies. They stink with their lies. And this is why they run away from debating us. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for those who support us in Patreon too. We appreciate your help. And remember, we are giving our books for free. And... Uh, the purpose of giving the books for free not because we are rich we are absolutely am not but because it's way more important to give and save millions from making pennies or making a lot of money it's way more important to give our books for free and I hope soon our books in Chinese will be done and we will give it for free too imagine Chinese is more maybe a billion and a half maybe more maybe two billion in the world I don't know so if I sell my book, the Chinese book, how much money I will make? I refuse that. If from every book I make one dollar, I will become a rich man. I will not do that. I will give my book for free. I promise. And as soon as we have it published, I will publish it for free online. The same we did to the Indonesian, the same we did to Albanian, the same we did to many books. And all of this 
for one reason, because we love the Muslims, we don't hate them. And we love everybody, Chinese, Indonesian, doesn't matter if you are Asian, white, black, it doesn't matter. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. But doesn't mean if we give our books for free, that means we do not need your support. So please always remember that somebody have to support the person who is giving all of this for free. And we appreciate that. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Lord, for having all those wonderful people, even those who support us by nothing, you know, because God, he can change their heart and they can start working with us one day by downloading the videos, adding subtitles, being useful to life, being useful to mankind, supporting us by teaching in their churches, teaching their children, supporting us by uh, uh, giving, you know, like uh, uh, financial support. We pray to the Lord to change the heart of people to who they are. Fake Christians to become real Christians, and they do. The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. So if you are a person, you are not willing to download a video and repost a video. I mean, what you can do then? You see, okay, you cannot support, you cannot donate, you cannot, etc. But can't you just share a video? Can't you download a video? So why you are exist? What is the purpose of your life? This is a question you can answer, not me. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And in his name, we pray for your safety and for your peace, peaceful life and for the good to come to you. In his name, we pray. Thank you, and God bless you. Take care.